Hey sweet soul, welcome back to Conscious Lifestyle Kitchen. Today's message, we're going to talk about yoga and Christianity. So let me start with what yoga is. Yoga is translated to mean union. Yoga is about creating space within yourself to connect deeply with your soul, with your spirit, to observe what's going on in your body, and to put loving awareness into the areas of our body that are being conditioned towards stress, injury, and pain. And we spend time with it, we stretch it out, we strengthen our muscles. And after we've prepared our, our vessel, our body, to be in a healing space, a connected space, then yoga can be used for prayer. It can be used for meditation. And why should we do that? What about if you are Christian? Where does yoga take place in your life? Are you allowed to? So I wanted to pose a question today. You know, reading gospel, where do we read much about Jesus' self-care? After all his walk, walking through the deserts, through, from town to town to share gospel, do you think he had to stretch and take care of his body? I bet he did. I bet that after walking miles and miles and miles, from place to place that he had to rest and take care of his body and stretch and so i think it is likely that jesus did yoga to take care of himself so he can continue to serve his mission so he can continue to minister and preach the gospel and have the strength to fulfill the mission god called him to do and so self-care was needed rest is needed for anyone on their mission now and so, what about the message to yogis? What can they learn from gospel, from Christianity? Well, that it's not just yoga that's going to change our lives. That's going to create blessings in our lives or heal our lives. Yoga is important. It's a necessary tool. But we can also just wait in our bodies for things to happen, for God's blessings to happen. For change to happen, we have to be the change. We have to be the answer, prayer and blessing, and not wait for anybody to come in and to save us and bless us. You have to do it yourself. Eventually, when you're ready, when it is time. And so, looking at the harmony of all of it, of all the healing tools and ways we can pray, we should be open-minded at least and have the compassion to observe appreciate and maybe experience for yourself all of it as long as it is coming from a loving place building a loving relationship with god universe or spirit whatever it means to you so if you're considering practicing yoga as a christian or you are a yogi who wants to perhaps visit a christian church i encourage you i encourage you to expand your mind and allow the spirit within you to guide you in places that you need healing to people. So how does God and the universe help us? Come to us. Speak to us through people. And you never know how that person is going to look, how that teacher is going to look. You can't make it up yourself. That is out of our control. And God's spirit lives in everybody, anybody who chooses it, who allows it to shine through them and so be open-minded explore new things with a guarded heart of course but the beautiful thing is we get to each have our own relationship with god and so we can say god universe or spirit this is you let me know like show me the way allow me the comfort in you to know that when i make a choice to try something that it is still honoring you still giving the glory to you that it is still going to create peace and abundance and prosperity in my life that is it is still going to align me on my purpose in the mission that you have for me so please show me please please guide me in a loving direction and when you ask for that prayer when you ask for that guidance it's going to take you to new places and new things to break you out of conditioning to break you out of the imprisonment of thought that is not yours, that is fear, that is evil, 
that is judgmental. It's going to break you out of that. It's going to have you lose things in your life that are preventing you from greater growth, greater love. And so yes, to say yes to something new and diverse and expansive is, you know, it might be scary. Especially if we have built walls of illusion of safety in our lives, in our mind, by thinking there is one way to do things in life. When there can be infinite, multi-dimensional ways to it, but that is an expansive, abstract way to move through life. And it can be scary, it can perhaps cause you to lose a sense of safety again and feeling grounded. So that is also why people might stay in one church for the rest of their life, one yoga studio, one, one relationship, even if it's abusive, one job, even though they hate it, because it is known they can see it, it is safe. But what they don't know is if they break out of that illusion of safety, that there is more love behind that wall, that barrier. And you don't know until you give it a chance to try it. So there might be a whole other life, reality, and world behind that door. And it is up to you to answer and to open it. But only you know in your own prayers and confirmation and affirmations with God, source, universe. Only you know whether to make that choice. So if you're here watching this, I congratulate you and I honor you for whatever choice you're making. But just thank you for taking the time to listen to this video and to consider some things. And I hope you do consider that new thing you want to try to explore uh, within yourself, whether it is for healing, self-development, or spirituality. And if you, you would like to explore that journey more and you would like support on your journey, please visit ConsciousLifestyleCoaching.com. Become a conscious member and network with other people who are also journeying through this similar story as you. And you can connect with them. You can get to know me a little bit more and consider when you're ready if you would like to coach with me. So that's the message. Again, thank you for being here. Subscribe to the channel. Please, come, please keep coming back. Uh, let me know who you are in the comments. Like the video so we can reach more people. Um, and just thank you for being a beautiful soul on a divine mission. May you continue to actualize it. May, may you continue to awaken to all the possibilities of your full expression of your soul. And may you find the support, the community that lovingly guides you into your fullest expression. So. Peace and blessings. I'll talk to you soon.